Matt, we're here in Portugal. It's been a tough couple of days training. You had a rest day yesterday, but you're back at it today. How was the session this morning for you? Uh, yeah, it was pretty tough. Um, we did the whole circuits to, um, to games thing, um, and then uh, yeah, into some more conditioning games at the end. So yeah, the boys got got, got pretty flogged. Let's go and look at you in, uh, as, a, as a player now. You know, 20 years old, youngest player in the squad. What are some of the the pros and cons? Maybe of you being the youngest in the squad. Um, <laughs> pros. Uh, yeah, I'm unsure. It's pretty, pretty awesome to be here, you know. Um, it's my first World Cup um, camp. I've been involved in a few of the, the Six Nations stuff and not on test. So, yeah, it's just it's, it's awesome to be so young and to be able to, um, to be able to be here. Uh, negatives, um, not a lot, you know. You just gotta um, do some jobs here and there, but yeah, there's, no, there's nothing too bad. What are your memories of uh, 2015? You know, when uh, you were watching that, you know, when you're 16, you were 16 at the time. Um, what was it like watching that World Cup? And back then, did you you obviously had the ambition to be where you are now? But what was it like watching it in 2015? I I just remember um, you know never hearing of it or never knowing who John Hardy was, and then he came in and was just absolutely sick. Um, it was awesome to watch. Uh, so um, yeah, him. Dense was probably a massive one. I watched them quite a bit in that World Cup. I had a lot of fun memories, you know, watching that World Cup. Um, I think it was at home, just finished school. Um, so, yeah, I had a few a few weeks on holiday watching it with my dad in the living room. Well, we're here now, bounding towards the, the 2019 World Cup in Japan. How excited are you just to be part of this journey and hopefully be on the plane and, yeah, come September? Yeah, awesome. Yeah, I'm massively excited. Um, you know, I've started to really enjoy my rugby at the end of the year. And, it's been awesome, you know, first few weeks in camp. Uh, so, yeah, the boys are really pushing, you know, we're in a really good place and we know where we want to be. Um, and, yeah, to be able to be a part of the squad is, uh, is awesome. So, yeah, just fingers crossed we can make it to Japan. There's a lot of competition, especially in the back row. You know, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of players that you know well from Glasgow and from out with. Uh, what's it like just now, you know, that competitiveness? Does that, does that drive Stan? Does that drive you, you and each other to, to, to be better? Yeah, you know, I think, um, you know, all the back rows are... Of, of a very high calibre, you know, we've got guys like Blade and, you know, especially Boris coming back from injury, he really drives the standards and, um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's awesome. They sort of drive each other, um, you know, some boys are really good over the ball stuff, others, you know, really good at coming off the line in defence and some guys, you know, ball carrying their, is, is their main main strength. So, um, yeah, I think there's obviously areas we can all improve on and I think um, having so many good high quality back rows just sort of just pushes you to be the best you can.